Hey Collective, welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me here guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your generosity. Know that every time you're liking the videos and commenting and subscribing, it encourages me. It's a blessing to me and I bless you right back. Let's talk about the collective energy. I'm pulling on the gemstones what it will also give me an insight as to what is going on around you at the current moment collective energy rose quartz open up your heart lapis lazuli to make a decision hematite to ground yourself moonstone to live your purpose that's usually the pendant i wear guys i'm not wearing it today because i'm living my life purpose but i usually wear it anyway because it has other properties to it that are very very helpful amazonite to loosen your grip okay chill Amethyst, to trust your intuition. Collective energy. you're being congratulated here for closing this chapter and opening up a new chapter this energy has left you um, torn your heart torn so you're being congratulated for seeing the differences, seeing honesty between dishonesty, or this person is, you, you're being congratulated for focusing and understanding is your heart space hmm. taking back your self-worth hmm. hmm. What are you doing here? Meditation. So seeing the differences. This person was disobedient. Confident, beautiful. That was a karmic cycle. Very deceitful person who is summoning being disobedient to spirit. Being disobedient to spirit. This is jealousy and envy summoning up things they should not have summoned up. Acting all innocent here. There's nothing innocent about them. This uh, person, yeah, they are seeing the differences. 
between lust and love. Chaos. Spirit is sitting here. Oh. What they did was forbidden. What they did was forbidden. They're being taught a lesson, the two of them. And I'm not referring to you. You've learned your lesson. These two are now being taught a lesson. They broke their oath. <sighs> what are you up to here? Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Oh, they might be ending that relationship with the karmic. You are at peace. You are releasing all negative energy. You know what your purpose is. You know what you're here to do. You're focusing in on the lighter side of life. You are learning to accept the things that you cannot change. You cannot change the path that people take. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. This is for you, for forgiveness, self-forgiveness, forgiveness of self for what you think you may or may not have done. You're not in control of this. You could not control the decisions that this person made. You could not control the path that they took. So this is finding sympathy and empathy for self. You will honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. And part of that is forgiving for self because it is your shrine. You are being congratulated. Yeah, and they can sit over there doing their envy because they will fail and you are growing. They tried to affect your self-esteem and you had to surrender them. Tried to put doubt and confusion into your mind. And now you have an abundance mindset. Joy. Peace. You're on the right path. You know when you're happy. At least you have your truth. Your honesty. And your love. You know Spirit is saying you know you're on the right path when you feel joy, when you feel peace, when you feel balanced, when you feel loving yourself. So these do not feel like they're at peace here. If you got to summon magic and 
zusammen irgendwie in der Seite. Ähm, Summon chaos and then live in a state of denial. How is in adversity? How is that happiness? How is that, you know? What are they gaining by it? Dark night of the soul, your person's going through experiencing massive upheavals to have help them align with the new levels of love within themselves and this connection they entered your life to test you teach you and bring out the very best in you hmm. and now their part of the story is over They're opening themselves up to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give them life meaning. The person they're with is unsighted. And unexpectedly, your twin flame is going to appear. Now look, this was toxic lust. And it is their part of the karmic's part of the story is over. Your person is going through upheaval, dark night of the soul to align them. This karmic's job is done. Hmm. Now they're in regret. being taught a lesson the two of them this person is still energetically connected to you even though you thought you lost this battle to the enemy you did not divine intervention is here you could receive a message This person puts you on a pedestal. That is the divine truth. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them from you. Hmm? They have to give everything up that they thought wants to be true. What's going on? Why, what's going on with this hater here? This deceivious one. What's going on with the deceivious one? Yeah, they were mocking you, making fun of you. They are a dirty fighter. They, they play dirty. Tried to set you up or beware there is going to be an attempted setup. They're going to come in, boss you around because the return to sender has backfired on them. Even your haters, come on now, even your haters secretly love you. They do. Constantly trying to convince people that they're this or that, that they're the empress, that they are this, that they are that. They're not nothing but a hater. Ignore these fools. They try to do thought manipulation and their finances will perish. They envy your skills and talents. Mm, stay over there. Your high energy ticks them off. Trying to claim credit over your success. Trying to gaslight you. Spiritually attack you. Claiming, well, you know, they got inspired by me. Trust no one. 
They may be trying to bring you legal troubles, but your God-given abilities irritate them. Mad because you're highly protected. They can't stand your creativity. They cannot... They don't understand, and I'm not even going to say that because I'm sick of their energy. There's certain things I don't want these people knowing, and that was one of them. You've got nothing to worry about, Collective. They hold you on a pedestal. They're hurt. And look, the magician and the devil. What are you going to do? That's the choice they made. There's nothing you can do except to pray for this person. That's it. I told you, Dark Night of the Soul is here, man. They're experiencing many upheavals. You're just being inspired over here, doing well, being congratulated for your success. And they're sitting over here, look, judging you, mocking you, making fun of you. That's their path they chose. They're under judgment and they know it. You took your power back. This person, fate supported you. They could have been a false twin or a karmic tie, a soul tie. Even if they were an emperor, they've taken a fall, a fall in status. Now, either your person was a gaslighter or the person that they went to was a gaslighter. They're lying. You're getting justice here. Look. Ten of Pentacles, justice, nine of Pentacles. So this person... You're happy alone. You're just focusing in on your work, on your purpose. Hmm. They're experiencing many upheavals. Emotional upheavals, financial upheavals, family upheavals. spy on you. They're regretting it, whatever they did. The cycles. Even the time up with the karmic is over. Or 
or is soon to be over. They're not meant to be there. They're not. Your person, they don't trust them. They're going to end up divorcing. If they're married, they're going to end up divorcing. Or separating. That was lust. This was love. They're seeing the difference. They're seeing what they refused to see before. Denial. They're seeing themselves and they're seeing what this connection really was and they're seeing what the connection with the karmic is and it's going to end okay it is because the karmic's part is done in the journey your person's going through dark night of the soul so they're experiencing many upheavals. Trust no one, because you don't need their legal trouble. You don't. Trust no one. If you're on a platform, if you're another tarot card reader, they could be inboxing your followers, trying to give you a bad reputation, trying to affect your income. Claiming they did it first. If you have, like, Instagram, Twitter, uh, any kind of social platform, they could be contacting your followers. And if anyone ever contacts you guys, it is not me. If someone is contacting you, it is not from me, just so you know. I will only contact you when I got a giveaway going on or I respond to you in the comments. And if I don't have the little tick mark beside the Frankie's Just Tarot, it is not me. Stay grounded. You may be in the process of having to make some sort of decision 
lapis lazuli would be a great gemstone for you. An amethyst to trust your intuition. forbidden whatever they're doing whatever chaos that they are trying to send your way is forbidden and spirit will deal with it it's really important for you to stay grounded at this time guys Remember your worth. Rhodochrosite. Remember your value. Remember you're getting yourself back into balance. And don't let people come around rocking your balance. Take care.